Dating Jay is a social experiment. Get back on the script, bitch. Okay. Like, like this? Like this. So, you have lived in Canada for two months. How do you think of it? Uh, well, I mean, everything's kind of shit. Yeah, we're broke and we don't have jobs. Yeah, you are. I, I got a job as an event server, but it's minimum wage. And then we also live downtown, so rent's not great. Food at supermarkets is never cheap. And finally, we can't even eat out. I wanna, I wanna eat fried chicken. No, because like you're a privileged middle class person. So why does Canada piss you off so much? <sighs> Transportation is the worst. I agree. If you just buy a single trip, it's like three bucks twenty just to get on like the shittiest mode of transportation Sorry, 325. ever. Three twenty-five. So if it's 180 bucks, unless you're doing two trips a day, you're not gonna get your money's worth out of it. And plus, the, the transportation system is pretty limited. Yeah. If you look at the map, it's only covered like... So Most of downtown, and that's even terrible. Because if you don't have a car outside downtown, then you cannot go anywhere. You can't leave your house. We both ride our bikes to get out of the house, and it's, it's not gonna be possible once it starts snowing. But the thing is that like, buying a car is expensive here. At least you need 15k CAD to get like a shitty second-handed car. Oh, um, and gas. Fucking yeah. That's inflation, right? So. Well, that's Putin. So what other things drive you crazy here? You. But that's because like space is really tight around here. So we pay 750 for a room. And then there are eight people living with us in the same tank house. It's old as fuck, everything's falling apart. So the thing is like, um, it's a really good deal already. I know around here in, in downtown Toronto, you're gonna pay probably more than a thousand bucks for what we're paying right now. We're lucky that we have a house like that, but at the same time, we are stuck together like 24 seven. So we're constantly like glued at the hip. And honestly, I'm just looking forward every day for myself to go to work or for him to leave the house and do some errands. Like, this absence of the other person inside of the house is such a relief. You, know? you want me to leave right now? Doors over there. Sometimes, I, to be honest, I like to have some private space as well. Like, if I make enough money, you don't have to see me every day. If I make enough money, I don't have to see you every day. That's deeply correlated to the fucked up housing crisis. Any street, you can see a lot of homeless people in downtown Toronto. Yeah. And then a lot of them, like, you know, have different kinds of issues, like poverty, addiction, drug abuse. But at the same time, there's a lot of, like, um, property getting teared down, getting, like, destroyed. Yeah, lots so, of vandalism. Yeah, vandalism is a big issue, right? But Canada is not all bad, you know? Uh, since coming here, I have to admit that my career and the relationships that I have with other people have improved quite a lot. I've met a lot of really genuine, honest and friendly people around here. They don't ask me, for instance, when I'm gonna get a real job or when I'm going to buy a house, when I'm gonna have a baby or get married. All of these things just end up not being so boxed in as they were when I lived in China. Over there, everyone's got pretty preset standards for how you should lead your life. There's a different mindset completely as mm -hmm. compared to China. But at the same time, like we talk about, the living cost is a bit higher. Yeah. So if you don't have a job, you don't have things set up, like you don't have your parents to live on, then you'll be a bigger trouble in the world. Yeah, and you aren't really able to achieve those uh, hopes and goals that you've actually set up for yourself in the meanwhile. You know, but what I'm feeling right now a lot of time is just like, I'm pretty useless. I don't get a job. I got nothing. Nothing's going on in my life. And then uh, I want to be a journalist, but am I passionate about it? Not that much. What do I really want? I don't know. You know, and then you get older, you're like 26, and then that's the age you should like be responsible for your life. You should be responsible for a partner in a way, but like you, you aren't because you're like a piece of garbage. Right? And it doesn't feel good. But what can you do about it? Like and subscribe. I, I like when you shut up and I dominate the camera. When all the attention is on me, I like to do that. So let's talk about me. 